Hey guys, how's it going? I am Patty Jack. Welcome back to Skyrim Special Edition Mod Spotlight. Today, we're going to be taking a look at another mod that's come back from the original version of Skyrim, but you know what? It's a nice little immersion mod, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at it right now. As per usual, we're just going to go over to the description for it. We're looking at wearable lanterns today. Pretty simple mod. What this one does is it allows you to equip both lanterns and bug lanterns that will allow you to see a lot better. Kind of the same effect that a torch would normally have, except this time you're not actually holding the torch, so you have your hands free to use your shield or to use a two-handed weapon, etc. So it's kind of just a different way for you to adventure, and it's always been a really good and favorite of mine. I'm still sick, by the way. I feel like poop. This cold isn't going away. It sucks. Maybe if I had more lanterns, everything would be a lot better. Anyways, though, so what you can do in this mod is you can go and purchase a travel lantern, not just the regular lanterns that you would find in the vanilla version of the game. You need to actually go and find the travel lantern. You can craft one at a forge, or you can buy one from basically any miscellaneous shop character. I got mine from Bellathor, and they're under the apparel section, not the miscellaneous section. You can also get an empty bug lantern as well. With that, you can go and catch a torch bug while you have it equipped, and that will allow you to have a bug lantern that lights up things in a very similar fashion. So we're going to go and take a look at it right now. I don't have a bug lantern with a bug in it, and the reason for that is that I searched, like, for about 15 minutes everywhere across Skyrim for a goddamn torch bug, and I couldn't find one. I don't know what it is. There's some famine going on. The torch bugs all died. It's like, uh, you know, it's, it's the opposite of a locust swarm right now. There aren't any in my game, and I couldn't tell you why. It's terrible. Anyways, though, we've gone into the inventory here. We've equipped the travel lantern. There we go. And you'll see it pop up right there. And there we go. That is the wearable lantern mod. Now, with the capes and stuff, I don't know if it works with this cape, but with certain cape mods, if you're wearing one and if it's behind the cape, it can actually affect how much light is distributed so let's go test that out with this one again because this isn't like a general uh cape from any cape mod it's a very specific one i don't know if it'll do the same thing but in some of them you might see less of an effect but it looks like with this one it's generally okay but if you do run into a problem where it doesn't look like it's lighting things up i have noticed in the past that if i'm wearing certain capes they can kind of obscure the lighting just with how the effects work in the game other than that though that's pretty much it. You can see it's kind of lighting everything up. It's a pretty bright night out, so it's not like it's working that well, but still. If you have any dark mods or anything in the game, then it's definitely something to check out, and it's always been a favorite of mine. Good little immersion mod, that's pretty much it, though. I am Patty Jack, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day. I'm